Jace, check this out. Slowly close your legs. Ooh, beautiful. Doing well. <laughs> you know, stretching is so important. For example, because of my big legs and karate, I can do the splits no problem. Back and forth. Back and forth. Feels good. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready to work out? feelings and emotional ties to the squat rack. It's, it's just like the altar. And I, I walk in front of the squat rack and I want to genuflect at this point. I just thank you God for letting me live. In fact, every time I do squat, it's like sometimes I wonder if I'm going to come back.
Make your dream buy now. Sometimes the things we want most are the hardest to get. That means you have to be even more determined to succeed. 
that's what it takes to be a winner. You have to want it bad enough to stick with it no matter how tough things get. Why are you a bodybuilder? Basically, I love the way of life. I love to be up on stage and, and show them how much hard work I put into my body and dedication. I love it. It's just, it's, it, I think it's just instilled in some of us. We, we're born with it, you know, and uh, the harder you work, the better you get. And that's as simple as that. You only get out of life what you put in. What are you eating? Tuna! Good for you. Good for the muscles. <laughs> they, they stare at you, you know. It's... Does that embarrass you? We're out of time. But does that embarrass you to have people feel that way? No, no, I feel good. When they do that. A woman one time said to me that there's, there's sex and there's reps and there's biases and there's triceps and there's love and there's hate. And every body part is an emotion. And that's the way I train. I mean, I'm sort of in the gym. I'm not counting how many times I'm doing something. I'm expressing myself from within. And that's where I come from. It's an emotional experience for me. And I'm very much into feelings. It's more than just uh, sets and reps and numbers. You know, to me, numbers are, are meaningless. And I don't like to... My personal goal, of course, is to be the best I ever, ever can make myself. You know, there's no... I guess I would like to be Mr. Olympia, I'm sure everybody does. Uh, we shoot for the ultimate title, but at the same time, I've got to be happy with what I'm doing other than just bodybuilding. See, this is a lifestyle. Bodybuilding is, uh, is something that you have to live every day. So I have to keep a balance. I have a, wa a beautiful wife, I have friends, I have family. I have to keep a balance, uh, you know, in life to be happy or I can't just bodybuild, bodybuild. Although I'm very dedicated, when I go to work, I go to work.
Take a look at that chump over there. Yeah, I know. She's into the little boys. I don't know if she's seeing them. She needs to get herself a real man. Well, I am here to pump you up. You get to travel as far as you're possibly able to imagine within yourself. It's that, it's that process of discovery that makes you want to keep doing it. You can, you can do all the interior work you want to do and it's still it's not going to get you to Superman if you don't have the physical strength to go with it. The thing that happens is that the stronger I get, you know, and I'm still not all that strong, but I'm, I'm getting that, the stronger I get, the more it helps my mental attitude. You have to start from the outside and work in. When I started picking up weights the first time, and when I did push-ups and chin-ups and sit-ups and all those exercises that you usually do in a school, my body responded very quickly. So that in a very short period of time, I could lift more weight than anyone else. To me, motivation is hating to leave the gym. I mean, I hate to leave the gym and know inside me that I could have gave a little more. I hate to know that I gave up. I hate it so bad I'll never do it. I don't care if I'm sick and thrown up in the gym, I'll, I'll keep going. So I can leave the gym and go, I did it, I gave. I feel great. I, I can't tell you how I feel. It's a really, um, it's a whole year build up and it's released all in one day. I really feel good. It's back in the gym tomorrow. Discus down. Those men don't throw it far enough. Two, come on, it's 20 already. Three, three and a half. Oh, you count right to the two thirds. Oh. I was told that I have everything going against me. I'll be back. Using this resistance, your muscles will tend to get stronger and bigger. As your muscles get bigger and stronger, you have to start slapping on more weight to build more muscle size. You take an incredible, fantastic flights of imagination in, into yourself, and most people would never really know much about themselves. When I'm training, I'm picturing that perfect physique and trying to attain that. brought me so much joy and so much, uh, it, there was so much excitement there that every time I went to the gym and trained in the gymnasium, it was like, in my mind, to get a step closer to this goal. So I was, I couldn't wait to go to the gym. I couldn't wait to do another sit-up, another repetition of, 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 of uh, uh, bench press or squats or whatever the exercise was, because I knew each poundage that I lifted took me a step closer to this goal. I think that you have to overcome obstacles every day. I mean, the day begins by just getting rid of obstacles. That's what it's all about in life. Things are not easy, but the, the upside is always so great when you make it. Oh, here I go. You don't want to die, but I want to succeed.
wake up. It's not about what somebody's you know, doing, everybody else does. It's doing about what you want to do. Yeah, I, get, I work out like five or six in the morning. To leave a hot bed, leave a hot woman, go into a cold gym, that's dedication, boy. You ain't kidding. You know, exercise is king, nutrition's queen. Put them together, you've got a kingdom. You know, I was like a little kid with a dream. I'm going to do this no matter what. I don't care who says I'm not good enough. I'm good enough. Let me show you. Anything in life is possible. What can't we do? It starts with us. It starts your brain. All these 70 trillion cells down here, they take commands from up here. You cannot be a failure. You cannot leave the gym ever a failure. You have to give it everything you got. When you think you're done, there's five more reps. When, you, uh, when you're on number 560 on push-ups, what keeps you going to 561? You know, the body works for me. This body is Jacqueline's slave. That's why I treat it so good. <laughs> what? Think you can give me some competition? Sure, I'll try it. That's what I like to hear. Kid who isn't afraid to lose. No, no, I got it. I want to take some money. <sighs> you ready? So what happened was, 
think these guys are laughing? I mean, this is serious stuff, bodybuilding. Look at the size of you two. Just kidding. Anyway, um, we came out here because the reason we came out here is we wanted to just get get big and break, break the stereotypes of bodybuilders. That they're gay, narcissistic, that they look strong but they're weak. But we tried, but they were all true, so we couldn't break the stereotype. No, so what happens? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Stay where you are. Fatty. Fatty? Me? You. Fatty! Who do you call him Fatty, Moosehead? There's nothing wrong with having a healthy ego. That's why there's sheep and there's shepherds. I'm a human being. I make mistakes. But when my gun shoots straight, it will kill, man. You remember this movie, of course, The yeah, Terminator. That, that's a dog. <clears throat> Adorable, okay. <laughs> Is this the right word for it? Have you seen Pumping Iron? Yes. And you've seen the scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger is talking to Luke Rigno. Through the power of the simple word. And his snake-eyed glare. In his snake-eyed glare, Arnold was able to totally psych out any confidence for Rigno. Squashing him mentally before physically defeating him. He had the edge, the mind's edge. It's not what you have outside, it's what you have inside. And I want you to remember that. <laughs> Sure. When I get back. You'll never be whole again. Never. Never is a very long time, Wayne. I'm not a sore loser, and even if I don't have a leg to stand on, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna fight this world until I'm on top again. I'm tired of waiting. And uh, being at the gym, the camaraderie back in those days was so much different than what it is today. Nowadays, these guys are so selfish, it's ridiculous. Back then, everybody would yell for everybody else. You know, you'd be across the gym watching some guy lift and you're just yell, come on, let's go. You know, there was competition, but there wasn't competition to where you wasn't supporting the other guys that you were around. It was truly like brothers in iron. Finish it. You can't leave it like this. Aren't you a little old for 
video games. You want to go at it again, huh? Yeah. <sighs> You're not even trying to understand what this means to us. I'm just trying to be the best I can be. I'm not going to stand around and watch it. Forget about the girl. Hey. Total concentration. You ready, Jack? I was born ready. Well, I'm uh, basically a very positive person. And when I see something, when I have a vision of something, then I go after it and then it means enough to me that I will put all the effort in it and all the sacrifices in it, whatever it takes. I never think about what is if it fails. I never think about what is if something happens to me or something like that. Uh, I don't think that way and maybe sometimes it's a disadvantage, who knows, but I mean, uh, the, for me it works very well to just think positive and uh, then uh, leave it up to fate, you know. Time to see what you can do. What are you, the ballet teacher or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm dancing, yeah. Also some uh, karate. Karate, yeah. Yeah, can you show me one of your uh, special kicks? You want to see one of my kicks? Yeah. Come on. Yeah? All the other objects around me, all the other people around me uh, are totally blocked out. Feelings are totally blocked out. I'm just totally in focus of the contest. Get your butt in here, Brady! The thing I have to be is perfect in all, all around physique. I have to have a, a perfect physique. The name's Angel, but don't let that fool you. I can be a bitch when I want to. Ah! This is the only thing I know I am good at. Don't take that away from me.
Thank you again, come on. Okay, this time faster. More energy. <clears throat> Go. Okay. I wish I could teach every one of you in person, but this tape makes it possible for me to give you a private lesson right in your own home. Well, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes. Right, we're ready. Okay, let's get started. Power of body and strength of steel. All right, so where's the on button? Take your bag and leave my house. What? What's going on? You don't want training. Hey, you want me to break my leg? Son of the bitch! Dylan! Oh, son of a bitch! Yeah. No shit you honor his invitation.
Are you ready for suffering? If the answer is yes, then you're ready for Captain Freedom's workout. There is no room in science for the arbitrary. The, the idea should be to go into the gym and intelligently perform precisely what nature requires in the way of imposing a training stress and in the right amount. Prior to, say, a competition, what do you put yourself through? Well, I would start approximately 12 weeks before the contest, depending upon my condition. And each one of the weeks leading up to the contest, the training would become actually briefer and more intense. Uh, and probably the last week before the show, believe it or not, I wouldn't train at all. I would rest up, uh, try to get myself together mentally, lay in the sun, go over my posing routine and so forth. not to go into the gym with the idea more is better or less is better. The idea is to go into the gym like an intelligent, rational, logical human being and perform the precise amount of exercise required. The vast majority of bodybuilders seem to have the idea that the, the purpose is to go into the gym like a macho dummy and see how many sets they can do or how long they can endure. A bodybuilding workout is not an endurance contest. I usually train covered up. I wear, I wear a sweatshirt in the gym um, and shorts and uh, train as I'm comfortable, but it's not important for my ego to be oogled and admired uh, constantly every day and to have my physique perused each time I come into the gym. I'm there to do something for myself and to use the time as economically as possible.
I walk in and I see this cover and there's Arnold sort of like with a dumbbell over his head grimacing and I thought I'd already been weight training a little bit. I thought, oh, that's interesting. And um, so I very rapidly made this shift uh, and began to train very seriously. And four, five. through the strength of this discipline and this dedication that I think I was able to find that that uh, inner strength. I always have, have often said that, you know, for me, the training was as much an inside process as it was an outside process. I feel great. I, I can't tell you how I feel. It's a really, um, it's a whole year buildup, and it's released all in one day. And I really feel good. What's the first thing you do after a contest, man? <sighs> Relax a little bit. <laughs> but now, you know, you have the world championships in a couple of weeks, so it's back in the gym tomorrow. When I'm training, I'm picturing that perfect physique and trying to attain that. Um, if that happens to coincide with what the judges want, then that's fantastic. I can cross over to a general public market and appeal to not only the hardcore bodybuilding fan, which I am very much a hardcore bodybuilder, but also to, to the artistic fan and to the person walking down the street uh, won't be offended by, by my physique, but yet it can still, it still has the ability to be a Mr. Olympia. Obviously, I wouldn't be going through all this if I didn't expect that I was going to uh, win a competition, but I also train with a, with a picture in my mind of the perfect physique as it, re as it relates to me. And so when, I, when I'm training, I'm picturing that perfect physique and trying to attain that. Um, if that happens to coincide with what the judges want, then that's fantastic. For me, this is a meditation. This is a ritual between my mind and my body, you know? Isn't it amazing how a guy that's 58 years old can look this good? Geez, I hope to be living at age 58 rather than be competing for the Olympia title. 200 pounds even. I was happy to even just be there, really. Uh -huh. uh, I had a great time, uh -huh. great competition. I have a, a goal in life to be the best. There's nothing in the world that can stop me do it. Once I set my mind to do something, I do it and accomplish it. Thank you.
You should like yourself and your body. It's not a question of flaunting of what you've got. Yeah. It's being proud of your body. A little flaunting once in a while doesn't hurt. <laughs> hey, they asked me, why didn't you go in Olympia this year? I said, I had to work legs today. I can't miss a leg day. They say I have weak legs, I can't miss a leg day. What the hell? My training is very intense. I come to the gym to train, train only. There's no talking, no hanging out, no visiting. Um, I'm all business when I get in the gym and I start lifting weights. That's a leg workout. When you want to open your mouth, you better be somebody before you talk. I want you guys to get that. Make sure you get that on the camera. Mike Christian is my meat next year. I'll get it next year. Watch it in Italy. Where's Lee Haney? I told you a while back, you can't grow without burning. Would you get your dog up in the morning, give him a cup of coffee, a cigarette, and a donut? <laughs> Why are you laughing? You killed the dog. That's right. We teach success orientation, positive-minded type goals. Hard as a rock. Yeah, I mean, she really muscle. has great definition. I can't do this, I can't do that, I can't accomplish things. And what we try to do as teachers is to push out all the negative thoughts and replant positive ideas of what you can do, what you can accomplish yeah. in life. Whatever goal you set for yourself, which we all do, we all set goals for ourselves, the first thing you must have is a mental image in your mind of what it is that you want to accomplish. Well, if you can't take the heat, perhaps you should think about getting yourself a nice desk job. He has a great deal of willpower. <laughs> you see, it doesn't matter what you do to me, there's nothing that can break my will. You're going to hit obstacles en route. You know, it gets tough at times. And a lot of times people will quit because of, the, because of these obstacles in the way. A lot of people don't like a real muscular man or a woman that's muscular. But together, it brings out the feminine parts of the women, you know, the femininity and the masculinity in the male. And the general public seems to respond really well to it. It makes me feel really good because it's kind of opening up doors. You must be determined to overcome each obstacle en route. Learn the difference between friendly analysis and unfriendly criticism. Never say or do anything which may influence another person without first asking yourself this question. Will it benefit him or hurt him? And if it will hurt him, don't do it. Here, try this one. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry. No pain, no gain. Don't say anything or do anything that would hurt another person under any circumstances, no matter how much he may deserve it. Exercise self-discipline. Keep cool when other people get hot. Don't touch me. Ooh. <laughs> For what? 
Huh? Or I'll touch you back. You can never be the biggest gun on the block. I don't care how good you are at any age. There's always somebody better than you. Are you coming? I have to finish my workout. Might as well finish on you. How big are you? How tall are you? Uh, about six four. Six foot four. And uh, how much do you weigh? Mm, around two two twenty five. Two two twenty five. I want to keep my condition, my strength, and everything as long as I possibly can. Here's to a good day. And Here's to another day. Thank you. training partner and you well not to make a point of it but you need a trainer in the worst possible way 